sometime in the 80s. Meet Tom. He has a newfound inspiration in life and decides to become a day trader. Meet Bud. He's the top dog at a downtown brokerage. Meet Dimitri. He's just graduated from the Academy of Computer Science and wants to develop cool software. Meanwhile, Tom hooks up with Bud and gets trading. But he's having a hard time making profitable trades. He's trading over the phone, so he can't be sure where the market really is. Years later, the PC arrives, and Tom now wants to trade with Bud online. But Bud doesn't have the required technology, so he goes shopping for a white label platform. Unfortunately, now Bud's the one with the problem. He's finding himself competing with the suppliers and realizes he doesn't stand a chance against the big guys. So to stay in business, he's forced to settle for the same platform as everyone else. Even years later, Bud keeps searching for alternative technology providers. He finally comes across Dimitri, who now has experience making FX software. They cut a deal, and Dimitri agrees to develop software for Bud. While he is happily working on Bud's new features, Bud is calling Tom and his friends to tell them about his new stuff. They're all very excited, and when Tom wants a custom indicator, Bud reaches out to Dimitri to get him working on that. But at the same time, one of Tom's friends needs an algo, while another guy wants a social FX plugin. Bud just wants to keep his clients happy, and the requests just keep rolling in. <sighs> this industry's a f mess. There's got to be a solution for this, a place where they can all come together, where Tom can get precisely what he wants, Dimitri can roll out his software, and Bud doesn't have to have a heart attack. Maybe that's an idea worth thinking about. So, we did. Tradable. Online trading evolves. Summer 2012.